Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a rooster. I am going to start with a pencil and then trace with Sharpie because if you make a mistake, it's always nice to be able to erase. But remember, draw lightly so it's easier to erase. Alrighty, let's go. I'm gonna start with two oval eyes and instead of doing them in the center of the paper because I know my rooster's gonna need a big tail, I'm gonna keep my eyes closer to this side of my paper, the left side of my paper, or you could choose to do it the opposite way on the right side, but that will mean you'll have to make the whole thing backwards. So if you're following along with me, keep your eyeballs to the left, L for left side of your paper. Okay, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna start two ovals. So I'm gonna start pretty high on the page. Practice. Okay, I'm warmed up in oval number one. Oval number two, they should be touching. And then you can add little eyeballs, little, little pupils. Next, we're gonna make the feathers of our rooster. And these kind of look like flower petals. They go up, stop at a point, down. But you don't end with a point. Up to a point, down, no point. Up, down. Down. See, they're all a little bit different. They're going along my rooster head because I like the way the variation looks. Now, we need a beak. Here we go. I'm going to curve a small line down this way. It should be curvy, starting at the bottom of this eye. Ready? Curve down. Now I'm going to curve back up and back up again. Look at that little smile. Oh man, so cute. Next, we need to make the little neck beard thingy of the rooster. I wish I knew more of this vocabulary. I don't, it's cool beans, right? Right, great. So you're gonna do a slightly slanted line down like this, kind of short, curve, curve, and up to meet the bottom of your smile, okay? Kind of like he has a beard. Now we're gonna make a line down here Whoosh, this is gonna complete his neck. And this line's gonna meet that one all the way at the bottom, ready? Starting near this eye pupil, down and kind of curve out. Not bad, he's coming alive. And then connect them with a little bumpy wavy line. If you wanna make another layer of feathers, another set of kind of diagonal-ish lines, yes, yeah, slanted lines, and connect it with a bumpy line. Next is the body. So, starting from this point, we're gonna do a slight curve with our tail. Not too big, not too small, just a little curve. See, it's kind of, it's almost a straight line, but if you want yours to be a little curvier, uh, that's fine. Now, what else do we need to add? The bottom of the body, of course. This is gonna look like kind of a gentle V, or between a V and a U, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down and up. Down and up. Now, if you think that's too narrow, then erase it and try it again. I'm fine with it, so I'm going to keep going with a wing. Now my wing is gonna start here, not on this line, next to it, up here. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna add a little bit of jagged edges, kind of using a zigzag, a really smooshed zigzag line. So ready? Curve down, zigzag all the way up. This is tricky. There you go. And you can even add a little texture in there, kind of like with backwards check marks, aren't they? Yeah, cool beans. Now we've gotta add a tail. Here's how you add your tail, ready? Think of a candy cane. Curve up and down. Another candy cane. Up, but this one's gonna meet it right at the point. Okay, here we go for the next one. We're not touching the same line, we're next to it. This one will be even bigger. You can even have them curve the opposite way. See how that looks? I think I like that better. I'm gonna do that. 
What do we think? So you're allowed to edit your work, right? Of course you are. And when I Sharpie, nobody will know this. Want to do one more? Yeah, good enough for me. Let's add some feet. I'm gonna make two really skinny lines down. Whoosh, whoosh. I'm gonna do diagonal, or kind of sideways to diagonal, out. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. Up, and complete it with a little V. And then you're gonna have a back foot over here, smaller, so it looks further away. And of course you can add a little texture here. Erase some lines so the body and the feet connect. You don't have to do this part. It's a nice way to blend in your work. And then of course, all you have to do, color it in, Sharpie it. Sharpie first, maybe. Color it in, and you're good to go. Now that I have finished sharpieing my little rooster, I think I want to add a background. So I'm going to give my rooster a place to sit. He's going to be sitting, hmm, I think on top of a roof or a fence. What do we think? Maybe a fence. So what I'm going to do to make that fence is just draw a straight line across all the way. And I'll give him another spot right here. Boop. And then if you wanted to add details to really show that this is in fact a fence, what you can do is add two vertical lines side by side. And you can complete them with just a straight line across or you can make it look like a little picket fence like that. Like another one here. So I'm skipping over this front piece because that's like the front piece of the wooden fence and I don't want the other wood to go through it. I want it to be behind it. So this is kind of like an overlapping trick. There we go. And just because our rooster is hanging out on this fence, it doesn't mean that there's no ground behind him. So what we can do is add a horizon line, and it won't be very big because the rooster's taking up so much of our page. But when I color this in, I bet it'll look pretty cool. All right, there we go. There's a straight little grass line right there. Maybe we wanna add like mountains in the background. So up, up, down, up, down. Who knows? Maybe a rolling hill in between. And I can color this in, and the back will be for, you know, um, sky, sunset, sunrise, maybe your rooster's waking everybody up. And of course you could have little things back here, little bits of grass. I know it's kind of hard to see here. You could even have some flowers. Who knows? I'm just doing mine in pencil first, and then you can go ahead and Sharpie. I'll color it all in. You can even have a little animal or another little rooster friend way in the background. The way you do that is you draw super duper small and it'll look like they're really far away. So you get to design your background any which way you want. It won't be the star of the show because your rooster's the star of the show, of course. So I'm gonna finish sharpieing that and then I'll color it in and I'll show you when I'm all done. And here's my final project. I added a bunch of different colors to the tail, a few little details to the background, and a little fence for him to stand on. And that's that.